Well, Joe Glasgow with me. Joe, let's talk about the event over a few days here in Kelowna. We're, we're here every uh, middle of June for this thing. It's not too hot today, so we're surviving a little bit easier maybe than some years. Oh, yeah, but uh, again, for the 17 years, I've been telling people, I said, we've only had two half days of rain. Yeah. Uh, and again, they go, that's great, because the Vortex loves me. <laughs> and as a result of that, people have been, you know, coming up and they get the good weather. Today, we were fortunate. It got yeah. a little uh, hazy. It was supposed to be 32. And, of course, they've never been wrong before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or ever. Yeah. Well, what we're not wrong about is, is the outstanding football that we're seeing here uh, today and through the weekend. Uh, 81 teams this year. Uh, how does that compare with what we've had previous years? A 22% increase. And again, uh, when we were looking at pre-COVID and we had, uh, you know, over 200 teams, uh, we lost uh, two age groups. So what happens is you have to start rebuilding from that. Yeah. Of course, the U10, U8s, uh, they never played. And the U16s, they graduated because those, those years were gone. Yeah. And it takes a long time to rebuild. But now what happens, of course, is that people are being more selective where they want to go. Dollars are a little tighter. We've tried to keep our costs low for them because, again, you know, we're 100% volunteer. Yeah. So that uh, is, takes a lot of pressure off the parents because we're every every dollar we get goes back right into whether it's the medals, it's the banners. You know, yeah. we did a great 50-50 today, yeah. which was our first one that we did. And, you know, we ended up, the winner walked home with uh, $1,165. Nice. And we were cheering because, again, <laughs> the, the, the revenue uh, goes to, you know, yeah. facilitate yeah, yeah. Uh, banners and all the other things that go with the tournament. And again, because our volunteers, they work hard. And uh, as a result of all that work that we get to put on this fantastic tournament. Uh, I know teams are coming from all over the province, but also from Alberta this year with three teams coming from Calgary. So talk about how this tournament was able to expand and get some teams from Alberta and who knows from where else uh, down the road. Well, because of the change in the name of the tournament, because this uh, board, uh, you know, sort of, you know, blindsided me and they renamed it to an invitational tournament that we were able to look at expansion. So we have teams from Prince George, from Vernon, from Kelowna, from the Valley. Uh, the VCFL all came up. We have the Calgary teams, and uh, now because they've had such a good experience, and they've been telling us, you know, it's been great. So they're coming back next year, and we're hoping they're going to bring two or three more teams with them. We've had contacts from team with Ottawa, and uh, the uh, coordinator, Jay Spencer, he had a contact from uh, a team in Mexico City. Yeah. So we're looking at trying to get more people to get involved in what we're doing because with it being a 2028 Olympic sport, you know, they want more competition. And we're saying now this is how we run it. We're in tune with all the flag that's played in the world. And uh, back in the day when I was younger, I did run the uh, uh, NFL World Flag Championship in Vancouver and we had 18 countries that come and participate. Yeah. So where, how does this tournament compare with 81 teams as far as flag football, youth football? like football other tournaments in other provinces how do we compare we're uh, uh, because we attract other zones we're big the uh, largest one that goes on of course is uh, with the uh, which is a uh, basically a one sport one which is for Vancouver Metro where all the teams are only from the Vancouver area okay. uh, they're sitting there and of course everybody played in that one and they were around 100 teams so uh, at the end of the day we're hoping to attract more people uh, because of the diversity of who they get to play yeah, do you want yeah. to play the same teams over and over again yeah, or do you yeah. want to play new competition yeah. and now with uh, calgary and other people coming on board people say well let's go play some you know other provinces yeah. 81 teams in town from all over the place of course Kelowna teams that can stay here but the economic benefit to to this community what what does it mean to have 80 some teams of flag football teams coaches parents players coming into Kelowna for the weekend well the uh, because we had if you're looking at the number of people we had about uh, 1,700 people. We're running about 1,000 to 1,500 room nights okay. uh, for the city. Uh, now, of course, then you'll be looking at feeding, you know, uh, people three meals a day, time four is yeah. 12, and, and you're looking at the spin off and you have to buy gasoline, and, you know, so the city is very happy for us to be here. Yeah. And, of course, they, we uh, don't involve policing, we don't involve, because it's a family event. Families yeah. love coming. Everyone has come up and said, this is our vacation. We come up here, our kids are doing something, it's fun for them, and they're with their friends. We're happy, we know people up here, and so yeah. they say it's a great family you know, vacation, and for some of them, it's their only vacation of the year. Yeah, yeah. You've got a tournament named after you yes. now. I mean, 
Uh, those that don't know, I mean, his he, he's, he snaps his fingers. People are bringing coffee and water and everything. Oh, sure, right. I, I started garbage. <laughs> and, well, when I started this tournament 17 years ago, flag football didn't exist in the province, yeah. right? There was not. And then I, we had 24 teams to start. They don't, everybody told me it was not going to be a tournament. But now everybody in the province is playing flag. Whether you're uh, in the North Shore Football League, which is their own independent group, they've got flag football. Mm -hmm. You know, the VMFL is playing football. They play some football on the island, but not as much. Yeah. And the north, all through the interior, you know, and again, so it's it's a vibrant sport and it's one of the real cornerstones of a football experience because a lot of kids start their initial introduction through flag football. Yeah. And maybe to wrap it up, uh, when we when we look to the future of this tournament, it, it's going to go international. It looks like, I'm and hoping. just get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Well, the thing is that we want to grow and we want to gain, give people an opportunity for something they never had before. And the issue is, is that when you have the door open and you're saying we were attracting teams from other provinces, well, a lot of kids don't get to play yeah. other province yeah. teams unless they make the V provincial team. Yeah. And then yeah. so now we're saying, hey, come out and play. Yeah. And they're looking at, oh, God, we get to play that team. We get to play this. So it's yeah. exciting for those kids to get that experience because again when you go to championships sometimes there's only two teams and yeah. not everybody gets yeah. to go but this is a fantastic event for uh, for us and, and the volunteers and the families because everybody this weekend because I was selling 50 50 <laughs> and they told me what a great experience they were having of course yeah. that makes myself and all the volunteers feel great and when they first named they the name I asked them if I died because usually you only get dead people <laughs> My dad. <laughs> He's very alive and well. Joe, thank you very hey, much. Hey, thank you very much. And again, you know, to all the people out there, you know, I hope you have a, a great experience watching yeah. because of all these young people have put a ton of effort in uh, to the game. Good stuff. Joe Gluska, the tournament's named after him, but he's got a whole bunch of people helping out from a volunteer standpoint to make it go. 81 teams this year, only going to get bigger down the road.